Problem 28, Chapter 2. Which is a stronger acid? Well, you need to look and see where these groups are the same and where they're different. Now, between these two groups, we have an OH, we have our methene, methene, and then this one has an oxygen. Now, that oxygen stabilizes the negative ion and therefore makes this a stronger acid. For B, because oxygen is more electronegative than nitrogen, because here are our differences here, oxygen is more electronegative than nitrogen, therefore this is going to be your stronger acid because it's going to pull the electrons and be able to leave that hydrogen easier. For C, the electron withdrawing oxygen is closer to the OH group in this molecule and therefore this is your stronger acid. And for D, because the electron withdrawing ketone group is here, this is a ketone group with the electron withdrawing uh, double bond and oxygen is closer to the OH, then this becomes the stronger acid. It wants to let go of this hydrogen faster. Problem 29, list the following compounds in order from strongest to weakest acid. Well, we need to look for the differences. They all have three carbons and their OH, three carbons and an OH. Three of them have substituents. The one that does not have a substituent is going to be the weakest acid. So I'm going to put that over here. Now, this one and this one both have substituents on the second carbon. Therefore, this molecule is going to be the second weakest. Because its electron withdrawing group is so far away from the OH. So now we come down to the last two groups. Well, now we have to look to what the substituents are because they're in the same place. We have fluorine and we have chlorine. And so now it depends on electronegativity. The more electronegative the withdrawing group, the stronger the acid is going to be. Therefore, the fluorine being the most electronegative atom, this is going to be your stronger acid with this one being second in line. Problem 30, which is a stronger base? Well, remember that a weaker acid has a stronger conjugate base. So look at these as acids and then decide which is the stronger conjugate base. Well, these molecules in A are similar except for their electron withdrawing group. Remember, the weaker acid will have the stronger base. This is going to make a strong acid, therefore, this is your weaker base. I'm sorry, your weaker acid, your stronger base. For B, noticing where the groups are, this one is on the second carbon over and this one is on the third. That makes this the weaker acid and the stronger base. For C, this one has an electron withdrawing group, this one does not. Therefore, this is a stronger acid the weaker acid makes the stronger base. And for D, look at the similarities and look at the differences. The ketal group is two carbons over from the oxygen, and here the ketal group is three carbons over. Remember, the weaker acid has the stronger base. This is your weaker conjugate acid, so this is the stronger base.